All right, on to the next hive. Nice and calm. I'll just smoke the end of it here to bring them down. This is another previously OTS-ed hive. A little weaker, I can tell, because they're they're not built out to the edge as much. This. Uh, frame is probably two-thirds full of nectar so I'll move that to replace it with an empty when the time comes so there's a nice brood frame still looking for the queen kind of frustrating because when we did OTS we sat here and found all these queens and I didn't mark them a little frustrating. It just makes them far easier to find if they're marked. Okay, they're filling this drone frame with honey. So this tells me they're not quite feeling it. They're not quite as far along as the other hives uh, that are filling those frames with drones. Uh, they're still using all of their energy to move forward as a colony and they don't uh, they aren't taking any uh, surplus energy to raise drones. Here's what evidently was an empty. And they're mostly filling that with nectar too. Not quite drawn even. I'm going to shake those. And I'll replace that too. This is a nice sealed brood frame. I see young larvae and can't identify eggs in there at this time. Clean that. I'm going to move that on the outside as well this bird nest and again this is not recommended by a lot of people you start splitting up the brood nest and you can end up making it difficult for the colony the size it is to keep those brood frames warm maybe it gets kind of cold at night which it's still getting rather cold at night here so I might be jumping the gun with that, but I really want to get those empties in the middle, get the queen laying in them. I see empty brood cells. I see young larvae. Hard to see eggs sometimes. Very, very, oh, there's eggs, okay. <clears throat> So, eggs means at the very, very least I had a queen three days ago. I don't think the queen is on this frame. But there's eggs on that frame, so she's not far away. I'm not killing my queen with all my cleaning. A little bit risky. Fat bee man says, scrape the top of the frame. Queen will come up and look over and see what's going on and cut her head off. I guess he's done that before. I can't say that I haven't, but I can't say that I have. Queen usually, when you open a hive, 
she didn't like the light so she'll steer clear of that okay so this is a very young larva I'm sure there's eggs as well uh, but again I'm not expecting to see queen here um, maybe some eggs down in the corner there just a couple so these mid-frame cups again there I always like to look at them boy if there's a if there's jelly in that if there's a larva in those then that tells you something else a mid-frame cup you'd be best leave that alone because that is either a supersedure cup cell or a emergency cell supersedure cell means that your bees are unhappy with their queen she's either not laying properly or something Emergency cell means your queen died. And the brutal truth is, you probably killed her. Doing this, you know. This is always risky. Okay, so this is a fairly open frame. The queen might be on this one. And this has a cup here. Again, nothing in it. You know, if they want to supersede her, they'll make a cup like that and they'll corral her around and make her lay in that cup. And 16 days later, her life is over. Boy, this is an open frame. I see eggs. I see every age. This is the frame I expect to see the queen. So I'm taking a really good look. And I do not see the queen. My buddy laughs at me, sitting in my apiary, talking to myself. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to the nice people on YouTube. She may be on the opposing frame. Because I don't see her there. This is a beautiful frame, eggs, young larva. She has laid this up just over the last four days. She's a, a laying machine. So there's a there's a bunch of drone size cells and there's larva in them too. You know, she's laid this up too. So is she gonna be right against the wall again? A lot of my queens are. They're either right out the front or they're way in the back. Oh, there she is. Big black one. Let's see if I can keep my eyes on her while I get my gadget ready. Okay, Queenie. It's hard when there's so many bees around. Well, I don't see the queen outside that thing, so I assume she's in it. I don't like doing this down so low. I can't see in it properly. I can just barely see her on there. So try to put the frame up top. Up like this though I can see inside there so I don't smash her. Closing the door. Okay, the door is closed yellow marker. Bit of a new experience for me being out here with no gloves. I always work with gloves and so it's, uh, it's different. I feel the bees flying around my hands. And... Okay big mama. I'm gonna squeeze her down in there. Get her turned the right way. She's really going. Holy smoke she's fast. 
Okay, workers, get out of the way. You better pin down tight though. She's not moving at all. Glad they've got that big thorax. You can mark. Okay, back to the gloves. Put the frame, put the hive together. Now this is definitely going to get a second. They're doing very, very well. She's out of space to lay. Uh, there's just nectar in that, so I'm gonna shake that off. So we can push this brood frame out. Put it empty. Push this brood frame out. Put it empty. This one out. Now that's an empty I put in, so we're gonna have two empty side by side. I wouldn't have chose it that way, but I guess all things considered, it should be okay. So we'll put this box on here as my second before they crawl up. Oh yeah, this will work. And then Queenie. Can go down in here. You can see her on the sides. Open it right up, and down she goes. Very nice. I like that gadget. Boy, I recommend that. And then 